We're out on a 160-acre ranch in the middle of the Canadian wilderness. Ooh, look at that, it's beautiful. Can we hardwire Starlink satellite to a hardwired, radiation-free ethernet cable? We did a real quick, cheap and cheerful DIY version first to test it, make sure it worked before we spent the money to do it properly. I don't have a shed to put the Starlink in the router is. So I'm rigging something together with two waterproof boxes. Why two? Because I have to cut holes and I don't trust one alone. So I'm gonna pull the router out and I'm gonna show you how it works. Here we have the power unit for the Starlink router. So this is your power cord and you can see it's plugged in there to my extension cord, which is plugged into power. Okay, so that's the power cord. Around the back of the power unit, we have two ports here. This white port goes to the router. It's this one here. Okay, so that one and this one are the same cord. This cord is the um, Starlink cord that, you know, is really long and it goes here and it comes up, it's this cord. All right, so the gray cord that comes from your Starlink satellite dish is this one that goes into your power unit. The white one is the one that goes into your router on the bottom plug. Now, when you get your router, you can't see that there's a plug, another port here. There's a gray plastic insert here and it just says AUX, A-U-X. So, and it doesn't even look like that plastic thing comes off. It's like a soft rubber, but it does. You just peel it out and that, again, on first generation Starlink is your ethernet port. But if you have second generation, you have to order another unit that will give you, whoops, this feature, but that comes with your first generation. So then this is my ethernet cord. Okay, this is my CAT7 cable. And you can see it's going there because I have it coming in the window at the side of my house. And this is a 300 or 350 foot CAT7 cable. This CAT7 cable is rated to be buried directly in the ground. If you wanted to protect it by putting it inside some kind of pipe, you absolutely could do that. So that ethernet, so again, this is your white cord that goes to your power bar. This is what you normally would have. This is what it would look like for just a Wi-Fi setup. This is your ethernet port right here. So I'm putting in the CAT7 cable plugged in. We are now hardwired. That's how easy this can be. The difficult part is getting it weatherproof if you don't have an outdoor shed. So that's why I put, I'm gonna put these two units in here and then I'm gonna put that box in here. This is a, a box that you can buy that's built to sit on your patio deck and protect your cushions from the rain. So I'm gonna have a double system here. So now that we knew for sure it would work and that the internet was excellent and worth the money that it was going to cost to trench and bury all the lines and hire an electrician, we went ahead and got started on that. Now, when you're trenching, the electrician told me for electrics, so there's the Cat7 cable. It's going in the side of the house. Our, we found a telecommunications box also down there so trenching for electric, you have to go three feet down. Um, and what happened is, see that propane tank? There's a pipe that goes from the propane tank to the wood boiler there. So we hand dug that section and we hand dug all the way down to three feet. And then we were like, okay, he must have buried the pipe at four. And so he came in with his excavator to scoop out the dirt we dug and at three feet one inch he hooked the pipe so <laughs> it's broken but so you see this is where it's going to come from the starlink satellite and it's going to come all the way there because you when you're thinking about where to put your lines think about all the possible future uses you might have for your land and your property and also putting it somewhere it can be easily marked. Okay, so my electrician has been here and let me show you the professional setup. <laughs> so 
he's put a power outlet there and it's inside a waterproof case. And then as you can see, that power cable comes there into here and then it drops down underground. This cable is my Cat 7. And so all we have coming out of the box are the Cat 7 cable, the power cable, and the Starlink cable, the gray one there that goes to the dish. So, and then I'll put this bungee cord on to secure it. And inside this plastic box are my router and my power unit for Starlink. And between this waterproof box and this waterproof box, sitting inside a covered um, steel structure, we should be fine. Even if the wind is blowing in hard, we should be fine. And of course, the satellite dish is designed to sit out in all the elements, so that part's gonna be fine. And then the cables come down here and there's the electrical cable and then there is the piping that the Cat 7 cable sits inside of. So we have done 300 feet of that going all the way to the house. And now we're gonna backfill. And once we fill about a foot, we're gonna lay this caution tape so that people don't have the same issue we did which is digging. So you can see here, he's tied it to here. And then we're just gonna pick this up and we're gonna lay it right in the trench after we've put about a foot of dirt on here so that when someone starts digging, they're gonna hit this tape and they're gonna know where the pipes are. So that is the next step, but everything is working inside the house. We have hardwired ethernet coming from our Starlink satellite dish and the dish is a good 250 feet away from the house. So we are getting no um, EMFs and no kind of electrical radiation from the dish. And we are getting no electromagnetic radiation from the router. So we have um, a very healthy environment and we have awesome internet out here in the middle of nowhere. Gotta thank Elon Musk. He's doing some good things. So this patio box actually worked out really well because it's got a little slot there for the cords. And then I've just bungee corded the lid closed. And we've had a good six inches of snow here. And I just knocked off all the icicles, but it had already started to melt. There was a giant icicle hanging off the satellite dish that I just knocked off. But my point is nice and dry and the dish has functioned perfectly. It's inside these arena panels in case the horses get in here to prevent them from playing with it. So success. And we got our trench covered up just in time for the snow to fall and everything to freeze, thank God. Mm -hmm.